The Winter Royale of 2020 has arrived and it has been renamed to Frosty Frenzy. In this video, I'll be covering some basic information on the rules and dates for this event as well as sharing a few tips to winning it. Starting off with the basics, we know that the tournament will be a trails game mode and occurring on the 12th and 13th of December. There will be 4 individual sessions for you to earn money. Each day, there will be 1 in the morning and 1 in the afternoon. In addition, each session will have 2 rounds, with only the top teams advancing into round 2 and have a chance of winning cash. Round 1 will have 6 matches in 2 hours and round 2 will have 10 matches in 3 hours. In short, you will get 2 chances per day and 4 in total. This tournament will also be region locked, meaning you can only play on one region and switching to another account will be prohibited. Furthermore, the Frosty Frenzy event will be a cross-platform competition, which means console and mobile players will be put into the same lobby as PC players. Last note, you only have to be in Open League to participate, and make sure you have 2FA enabled. For the scoring system, there will be two different formats for each day. The day 1 scoring system looks more reliant on kills than placement points. You get 2 points per kill and a total of 30 placement points for a win. If you look closely, you can also see that most of the placement points occur after top 5, which is not very reliable. Next, the day 2 point system. And right away, we can see that the format is more balanced between kills and placements. Each kill is worth 1 point and the placement points are evenly split. However, from past tournaments with similar formats, we know that going for kills will still be better on day 2. Overall, it is best for you and your trio to play for kills no matter which day of the event. Now onto the tips for round 1. In my opinion, you and your trio should play aggressive while avoiding situations where you might get third partied. Try not to fight if you see more than one trio in your field of view as most of the times you die not to the opponents that you're fighting but to the players that are observing and watching the fight. Secondly, try to control yourself in fights especially when you're fighting without your teammates. What I mean is whenever you are fighting alone, try not to take 50-50s or attempt to take walls against more than one opponent. You should instead look for angles and flanks or group up with your trio as fast as possible to avoid dying by yourself. If you manage to play safe and stay alive, it will help maintain your team's consistency and secure the qualification for round 2. Third tip is to always play as a team. This sounds very easy and obvious, but a lot of the times, we tend to forget how important and strong pushing, tunneling, and shooting as a team is. The times where we die are always when we are split up from the team or making decisions by yourself without notifying your teammates. There are many ways to enforcing your teamwork, such as taking walls together, spraying together, rotating together, healing together, landing together, and most importantly, focusing the same player in fights. My fourth tip is fishing. If you can, try to add a rotation to spots on the map where you can find fishing holes to fish. As many of you already know, Season 5 introduced a rift fish that works exactly like a rift to go and it will be the key item for your trio to making endgames consistently. My last tip for round 1 is landing on knowledgeable locations. If you or one of your teammates don't know a location very well, try avoiding that spot because you don't want to have any miscommunications or confusions in fights. Not knowing a draw spot can also lead to running into bad spots, so make sure you and your trio are landing somewhere that is familiar to all three of you. Speaking of drop spots, I recommend landing Slurpee Swamp if you and your trio are comfortable with the POI since there is guaranteed max shield. In round 2, you are facing good players who pass the top 500 mark, which means you should play more passively. Starting and engaging a fight in a lobby with good players can usually draw attention to your team and potentially get your trio focused. To avoid your team from getting focused, you should only start fights as a third party since it gives you more room to disengage and make mistakes. You should also focus on holding different angles to spray your opponents and get them low on HP before fully committing to the fight. It is not smart to initiate a fight without a reason in high scale lobbies. Last tip for the video and for the people who qualify for round 2 is having good mentality. If you happen to die off spawn the first game or in between the session, don't let the feelings disrupt or discourage you. Instead of feeling depressed about your poor performance, you should be thinking about how you can make up for the last match with the next game. Even if you throw away the entire session, just remember that you have the skills to qualify for the next event. 
Hopefully, these tips were helpful. Good luck in the tournament. Consider dropping a sub. Peace. You